Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of the video is a Bitcoin Trader versus a Bitcoin Monthly Chart. All right, so I have been sent this uh, beautiful car, this beautiful chart by uh, a TSTW s y s zero a trader. I would like to say to that trader, thank you very much for asking essential question. All right, and um, Keep it up, please. All right. So the gentleman was saying to me, George, I was wondering if you are not tired, all right, of answering more questions. I have taken a liberty, all right, to send you this chart, all right. I was wondering why sometime, okay, many traders, okay, will be uh, bullish at the same time. So you have, uh, at the time when you are buying, there is another group also selling, so he's wondering why that is the case very often in the financial market. Always, when one is buying, another person is selling, or when one is selling, another person is buying. So he said to me, he was playing with, um, okay, market geometry, okay, dynamic trend line, and he came up with uh, this chart, or right, this drawing on the chart you can see here. I'm going to switch to another chart, don't worry. So if it's not very clear now, you say, which all watch this. Uh, I have a better one here. We'll be looking at it in a minute, all right? I want to show you the chart that the gentleman has sent to me. So he was playing, he was saying, John, look at it and tell me, okay, should I focus on market geometry or should I look at something else? Is this useful? So to answer that question straight away is that uh, any technical analysis is useful, all right? It doesn't matter whether you're using Bollinger Band, Stochastic CCI, it's still, okay, good. But the bottom line, as I said before, is that uh, if one wants to buy, why sometimes we have, why do you have traders that are selling, all right, when you are buying? What I have discovered myself, you may disagree, is that many times, most traders do not have a signal to sell before they sell. Or they may call something else a trading signal. So they may call a trading setup a signal to buy. So they see, for instance, all right, a double bottom chart pattern, all right, on the daily chart. So it's a bullish chart pattern. So they just buy because they saw a bullish chart pattern. So they are using, all right, a, a trading setup as a trading signal. Instead of breaking it down and say daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame, they just buy straight away. This is the case very often on the daily chart. So by doing so, if you have many traders doing that, though you may be correct to sell, maybe you are using the monthly chart or a, a yearly chart, and normally, though it is showing, all right, a, a bullish chart pattern on daily chart once you sell, those traders didn't know. So they just, they are buying because of, uh, okay, a bullish chart pattern. So... To answer that question, the reason why always there is somebody selling when another one is buying, all right, is because traders are doing all kinds of things. And there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. They have the freedom to do what they think is right for them, but this is the case. What I say to traders is this. Wait for the signal. So you are looking for a trading setup first, and then you want to implement a different time frame trading method. Very, very important. Sometimes you may try to skip it, but you don't want to skip it. Where is your trading setup? Now, go to the corresponding signal time frame. All right. If there is no signal, don't buy or sell. Which means, if there is no signal, don't go to the entry time frame to look for an opportunity to enter the trade. So the entry is also another signal for us to buy or to sell on the entry time frame. All right? So... It's like we are having um, three verification. The, the, the setup time frame is our preliminary signal in bracket, but it's a trading setup. And then the signal time frame, the real signal is fired. So what you will notice that if, for instance, you were perfectly correct, so you buy, and normally everybody should buy, but other people are selling, what you will notice that you buy, but other people are selling. What well, you notice that as you buy, if, if, if you receive a signal to sell, okay, you've done everything correctly, you follow your trading drill, you check the economy news, and then you, you do a trading at the correct time. Now you, 
you buy correctly. You done your bit, okay? Now, if other people are selling, and if there are many of them, you may notice that on the signal time frame, the signal may fail. That's why I say to trader, when you enter a trade, when you receive the signal and you go to the entry time frame and you enter the trade, you follow the trading drill correctly, but later on, you check on the signal time frame. That is, and you notice that the signal has failed. The signal that was in place before now has failed. You need to close that trade because those people are about to, 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 to mess you up. That's it. You, you close the trade when the signal fails. That's why I say the signal can fail. Right? The signal can fail. So, depending on your risk tolerance and what kind of stop loss you are using, they may take you out very quickly or they may take you, they may not take you out depending on where is your stop loss. Doesn't mean that use any stop loss, but you want to pay attention to the risk reward ratio. So, this is just to clarify why sometimes there is one group that is selling. And instead of everybody selling together happily, somebody else is fighting the other group. So apart from uh, that mistake of using a trading setup as a signal that many traders are doing, which is perfectly their right, there are traders that we call contrarian traders. So they know that most people here want to sell, but they will buy because they know that sometimes the opposite will take place when people are trying, like here, you see, uh, you see this kind of bar here, you see this one with... Uh, it's a pin, all right? So most of the candlestick pattern trader will be gagging to sell here, looking for an opportunity to sell. That's why I say, you use different time frame trading method. But behold, there is another group of traders that are using a level two trading, so they see those order there to, to, to sell. So what do they do? They place another order above, all right, to buy. So if, if those orders are, okay, substantial, they can attract the price there before the price will go down. So the price will go up fast, and those people that enter the trade too early will be taken out of the train, and before the price goes down. All right? Now, it's not market manipulation in this case. If their intention is truly to to, 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 to buy at, at those levels or so on. All right? So people are doing all kind of things in the financial market. So the only way to, to control it is to manage it. You want to manage it using different time frame trading method. And uh, if the signal fails, just close the train, minimize your loss. You are sitting somewhere in London and all you are talking for eight minutes, you are talking about blah, blah, blah. So let's go back to the chart, okay? So this is what a gentleman, a very beautiful chart, by the way, very beautiful. Uh, so you can see here, if you look carefully, those who know about the dynamic trend line, this is a correct, excellent. This is the green one here. This is the dynamic trend line. You can see that uh, the prime break below the dynamic trend line is retested here. So all we will say to traders, priority to bullish signal above that uh, green dynamic trend line and priority to bear signal below it. But this is a hot spot trading zone. That's what they are selling here because of the intersection between the dynamic trend line, you see here, and this one here. So it is normal for traders to look for an opportunity to sell in this zone. It is normal to implement a different time frame trading method here to sell, okay, the Bitcoin. So again, you see, you are selling, all right, or you think you should sell, and you implement your top down trading method, but nothing can stop the price to go back up because if others are buying, they can propel it back up. So that's why when the signal fail, you just come out. Sometimes they may take you out. You may have to re-enter again. And then they may take you out again. And then you may have to re-enter again. But how many times are you willing to re-enter? For me, it's uh, three times. That's it. So, excellent. Okay? I like the way you put this line here. I like the way you put the horizontal line here because uh, I do that myself. And I would have done the same thing like you did here. This is good, 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 good. Because... Uh, we are discounting the, the, the shadow here, and uh, you just roughly draw it there, which is good, you see. This is this is the resistance that the gentleman is pointing out here. This, this resistance is good, all right? Not this one, but this resistance here, okay? So, that level, I will show you in a minute, uh, somewhere near 12,000, 12,000, call it uh, 13,000 zone. That's level there. And uh, so, 
that's the dynamic trend line is there and the gentleman also draw this trend line. you see the trend line here you see how the price was coming down here so which trend line is this this is a common center line so there is a common center line that the gentleman draw along the prior when it was coming down excellent okay all right nice and beautiful and uh, you can see that uh, you use a bit of sim uh, symmetrical projection so you, you see it came down you project it's like a projection you see this angle here okay this angle here between the horizontal you project it to the other side see now so you have the other one here and uh, it is similar thing on the top here all right so excellent and beautiful all right so you're asking a question should i stick to market geometry now why are you using the market geometry because you want to find that we are gathering information so it's good you may use other that's what i say be multi-talented so it's not going to be only the market geometry but you are using here the market geometry to gather some information that maybe the cci or the stochastic may not ex exhibit to you all right so it's all good and uh, so another thing that i like about it though this is a, a training first here so the price now in the box is it's now in the box all right so some people saw it here, that's why we have that bearish engulfment. So we are in a bearish zone. But if the price goes above that line here in the zone of 13,000, or I call it 13,000 here, okay, we need to be aware of the dynamic trend. You can see, so you have to understand that uh, though not many traders know about the dynamic trend, line, look why, why the price did stop exactly there. Okay, so this is a hot spot trading zone. Okay, hot spot is on. Okay, so so this is a bearish trading setup. So what is the next step? The next step is to go to the daily chart. All right. So you have used the market geometry. You have used the dynamic trend line to gather some information. Now you can implement a different type of trading method, investigation. Try to find out to gather more information so you do not make okay uh, a premature decision or a wrong decision. Why? Because we are looking at the chart. That's why. Right. So you look at the chart. The stochastic show divergence. People want to sell. Bullish divergence. You want to buy. Isn't it? It's normal. But if you miss some of the information, that's why other traders are doing. So you, they are buying when the people are selling because they, they gather only few information and they are happy about it. They say, oh, all right, I check the balance sheet. I perform Google Asset tests. They say, all right, have you checked the management? What's the history of the directors? All right, probably they are the ones screwing the business for a long time. <laughs> well, no. Just an example, okay, if you are a director, all right. So on a daily chart, what do we have? So, so if we didn't come to the daily chart, we won't have seen this now. So on a daily chart, we have a triangle. Can you see that? There's a triangle there. This triangle, in fact, what I will say to you, if you did spot that earlier on the monthly chart, that horse spot on its own, you could have sold a Bitcoin nicely here on the 19th. So this one, you see, you see, touching this point, touching this point, those two points we draw on the daily on the daily chart, it's showing the declining channel. Now you see here, it form a low and a lower low. And now it went back to retest that very trade line. If the common settler is broken here, this is our signal there. So we have a consolidation in a triangle on a daily chart. So now our signal will be determined because of the market pattern is a triangle by the market pattern here. So if we want to sell it, the best place to sell is here on the edge here. But probably. A lot of swing traders are already in place. They, they sold it here. This common settle is broken. They go to the daily. They may, so you can break it down again. Say daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. If you don't want to enter the trade on the hourly time frame, you can break it down again. Once the common settle is broken, that's your signal there. They say again. So or a daily chart, a day trader may say daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. And then take it down. There is an oscillation between the top of this triangle on the daily chart and uh, to the lower part of the, uh, the 
triangle here. So people are buying here. Now, a triangle is indicating to us that anything is possible. So a lower high below this triangle is a higher probability bearish trading setup. A higher low above the triangle is a higher probability bullish trading setup. So we are now talking about a signal. So the signal was in place here before to sell. It was also somewhere here to sell. Okay. But those who saw it here, they should be able to take some profit here. Their midpoint target is the media line of uh, that uh, triangle. Okay, see the media line. So you connect uh, the summit or the peak of the triangle to the midpoint of uh, the height of the triangle. So now that the price is coming out of the triangle, people will use the height of the triangle and project it down like this. Okay? Uh, at, the, at the breakout point. Okay, so bringing us somewhere in the zone of uh, 5405. That's a very bearish target. <laughs> All right. Very bearish. 5405. Now the midpoint target will be somewhere in the middle there. There's so the midpoint target probably to this support here on the daily chart. So if you like, uh, uh, we can put, uh, we can just say media line somewhere there, roughly, roughly, okay, roughly, roughly in a zone of uh, uh, 7628, or I call it 7628, all right. Ultimate target is 5406, wherever it is here, this one. That's the ultimate target for that bearish target. It's quite uh, deep. So once you go one step at a time, okay, so from here, people will be expecting to come here if we continue to go down, okay? But some traders who miss, uh, so this is a place to sell. Here, it break below the media line, retest the media line. This is another place to sell because the common center is broken. So those are the signal. So somebody who sold it here, because of that uh, setup. So it's the setup that is generating this signal. We can use this signal again as a setup and break it down daily chart, hourly time frame, 10 minute time frame. So this is another signal there. And people sold it now to the lower point. So this is good. Those are people are trading it correctly, which is good. Now it's coming out of the triangle. They will set a target at this. All right, I'm bringing us here. Okay. And the midpoint uh, somewhere here. Okay. Very important. But be careful. Sometimes the prime may come out of the triangle and then go back inside it. Okay? So that's why we want to use a different time frame trading method. Now, those who have missed the entry here, entry here, they will be wondering, now, is it going to go back inside all the way here? It may do exactly that, or you may come back to retest the median line before coming out, or it may just turn around here and go back up again. So at this juncture, you need to be very careful. So somebody that is swing trading, that is selling like this on a daily chart, is a little bit speculative, but it's not stupid. If the person understands the risk, if the person understands the risk that he or she is taking here yeah, carefully, carefully, that's fine. But that person should be aware that it's not uh, uh, it's a tricky place unless you can afford to place your stop loss somewhere there. But it's a tricky place because some of you see here the tail here, some of the buyers like that they like it to go out and then push it back inside. So, like this now on the daily chart, we are here now easily on the daily chart. We can go again to the hourly time frame to investigate. I don't think I have data on the hourly time frame for Bitcoin using the trading view. Let's see whether I have a data on the hourly time frame. Oh, yes, good. All right. So, on the hourly time frame, here it is. It's again another triangle here. Can you see that? Roughly, roughly. Okay. So, it's hanging around the base of the triangle. So, some people, you see some people saw it here on the top of the hourly time frame. And again here, those are the, the entry for some of the trader or whatever they are doing, okay? Carefully, carefully, that's why you want to trade it. So now you can see on the hourly time frame, it's now on the edge of it. So the trick is now, so we see a setup, no question about it, the setup looks bearish. We draw the warning line between priority to bullish signal above the whole spot trading zone and priority to bearish signal below it. That's very important. You need to do that because it will help you to know where you are and know that, okay, the game is changing now or the music is changing, so you may change your steps. 
All right? But like I said to you, the reason why some traders are buying when others are selling is because they only gather a few information. So they just say, they say, all right. Suppose somebody on the day says, okay, it's a triangle. I just buy here. They buy, they forget about everything else on the monthly chart. And sometimes if you have many traders doing that, speculative traders, gamblers doing that, the price may just go up. Everybody say, what's going on? Why those people are selling? Well, they decide to sell. There's nothing one can do about it, isn't it? All right. So the only thing that you can do is to control the risk. So I'll come back again on the daily chart. All right. So on the daily chart, where am I now? We were talking about this triangle because there's one more thing I want to talk about before we go. Is this one. My point to trade it. My intention was that this video is 10 minutes. But there are so much to say, so I can't just skip it and go away. So for those of you who are trading Bitcoin, you may find this more interesting. Right, so here it is. So we say the target is somewhere here, 5, 4, blah, blah, blah. Where were we? Somewhere there, okay? All right? Okay, so. And we talk about the big point target. What I want you to see also on the daily chart is this one. Look at this. See? There was another triangle here on the daily chart before. Draw it. You see that triangle? See that triangle? There's another triangle. I'm on the daily chart. Okay, there's another triangle. The base of that triangle, that's what I said to trade, traders. We can extend the lines, the top, you see, the top of the, the triangle and the base of the triangle. So as we extend it, we extend that the triangle there on the daily chart. We need to be aware of that level. It's somewhere. All right. Because let me adjust it a bit. It's no, it's no horizontal as horizontal. So <laughs> I'm just going to quote a number now. 6350. All right. So that's the 6350 in that zone. That's the extension or the base of this triangle. You can't ignore it. So those that are selling it down. Okay, we have the midpoint target, and after that, there is a, this base of that red triangle on the daily chart that we need to watch. I know that if you break below that base of that triangle, watch out for this one here, the blue one here, at uh, 4, 2, 3, 9, 4, 2, 3, 9. Why? Because of the chart that uh, you have, uh, okay, sent to me. Where is that chart again? Here it is. You see the horizontal line that you draw here is somewhere there. Okay, it's a nice. So as it's dropping down, that will be another ultimate target level that one trader should not forget. Okay. Another thing that I like about your drawing, you see, this is, I was telling traders, so pay attention. I said that this was a common center line, isn't it? Okay. See that? So now the month of August is finished. The common center line here. It's broken on the monthly chart. Now, the gentleman draw, I like this green line here. It's I don't have common certain line. So it connect the high of July and the high of August. And you just draw this line. This is another common certain line. So this is another line that traders should watch. It's a trend line that people should watch if the price continues to go down because it may come back and retest that trend line. And also what I like about this one here, okay, which is the projection of this angle. Yeah, the horizontal level, this angle here to the other side, okay, projection to the other side. What I like about it is that be aware of it also. If the price comes all the way to it, it's also a key level that one should not ignore. All right, so I like uh, the horizontal triangle, uh, the horizontal uh, rectangle. It's a box, all right? So you can draw the median line of that box. All right, so they may sell it from the top of the box to the media line. If you find a support, they may go back up. Attention to the trend line. Or if you break below the media line, then you may try to, okay, fill the second half of uh, uh, the, the rectangle. Now, have I covered everything? So we see triangle all over the place. We see triangle on the daily chart. So the signal, some of them were already fires. Now on the our little frame, we see another triangle. Previously, there was another triangle telling us another warning. So this is an excellent signal here for bearish traders. And a lot of swing traders are already in the trade. And so it's like if you sell here, if you don't want to take all your profit, you just need to secure them, secure maximum for profit. That's how you're going to achieve consistent winning trade because the idea is to bank profit 
So if there is a, a losing trade, those profit can pay for the 